This is Haley reporting from the Impossible Railroad in Campo, California, just outside San Diego. Can you imagine if San Diego were as large or larger than Los Angeles? It almost happened thanks to this railroad I'm standing on and the determination of John D. Spreckles. However, nature did not intend for a railroad to be built through the treacherous Carrizo Gorge. Here I am standing in John Spreckles' private business car. John Spreckles was known as the last great railroad builder and he is also the biggest reason San Diego is the wonderful city that it is today. Some say he is the father of San Diego and he wholeheartedly believed that San Diego needed a railroad to the east. In the early 1900s, San Diego had many phenomenal natural resources such as a natural port, good weather, it borders Mexico, and it's the first stop after the Panama Canal. Los Angeles had none of these. A railroad connecting San Diego to the east became necessary for the military and to expand San Diego. The newspaper headline shocked San Diegans on December 14, 1906. The headlines read, Railroad from San Diego to Yuma has now been assured. It was to be named San Diego and Arizona Railway. But SDNA Railway was soon nicknamed slow, dirty, and aggravating and was doomed from the start. John Spreckles Railroad was plagued with numerous problems and setbacks like avalanches, thunderstorms, floods, fires, earthquakes, the Mexican Revolution, the influenza epidemic, no money, lawsuits, and two world wars. Construction was shut down temporarily during World War I, but Mr. Spreckles went to Washington, D.C. to convince the government that they needed the railroad to get to the military bases and supplies in San Diego. It was the only exception granted, and the railroad construction continued. Carrizo Gorge was an impressive chasm that was the most exhilarating highlight on the trip from Arizona to San Diego. Sadly, it proved too difficult to pull trains through due to its treacherous terrain. Carrizo Gorge was hot, dry, rocky, and steep. Goat Canyon Trestle in the gorge was a wood trestle that was 633 feet long and 85 feet tall. Can you imagine? Goat Canyon Trestle is the largest wooden trestle in North America. The Carrizo Gorge section of the railroad was only 11 miles long, but it took two years to build. Workers had to blast out seven tunnels and 14 trestles just to get through the gorge. The SDNA Railroad was eventually donated to the city of San Diego. Today, the San Diego Trolley runs on a portion of the original track built by John Spreckles, and the Railway Museum in Campbell offers short educational train rides. When John Spreckles died in 1926, so did his dream. Since his death, many people have tried to keep the railroad running, but the Carrizo Gorge proves too wild to tame. But you can come on down here to Campo and take a ride on the Impossible Railroad and take in some San Diego history. This is Haley signing off from Campo, California. Yeah.